So, Debbie, any exciting Thanksgiving plans? Or are you just going to bore us with your earthly traditions again? Oh, thrilling as ever, Han. Just the usual earthly chaos. Chaos is the spice of life, they say. Going life, everyone. Well, folks, buckle up for another roller coaster ride through the cosmos. Welcome back to Earth. Now, let's dive into our first headline. But before we do, Hank, any cosmic wisdom to share? Thanksgiving is an earthly tradition, but do other planets celebrate with turkey and stuffing? Oh, you haven't seen Kao until you've witnessed a family of four headed alien gang over the last. Slice of cranberry jelly. At least they argue over the good ah, stuff. Ah, yes, cranberry jelly. The elixir of familial now, strife. Now, let's not forget the quantum whispers. Alice, Bob, any insights from the well, universe? Well, in the quantum realm, leftovers become potential parallel universe feast. And arguing relative become philosophical discussions on the nature of family dynamics. Ah, the wonders of Thanksgiving. Now, our adventure awaits. Stay tuned for our headlines. Breaking news summary. Evening, extraterrestrial comrades. Let's start with news that's more exciting than a UFO sighting. Beavers strutting back into London after a 400-year vacation. Those little furballs are the original hipsters. Upgrading from swamp to the city with a designer fur coat. And speaking of fashion faux pas, Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz is playing Benae with Turkish President Erdogan. They're building bridge, apparently. Maybe they should focus on building bridge to the future instead of playing diplomatic Jenga. Just a thought. Now, shifting our galactic radar to the Middle East, where the Gaza truce is on its third day. Hostages are being released, supplies are flowing, and it's almost heartwarming. Emphasis on almost UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on an Antarctic adventure warns us about an existential abyss due to climate change. Penguins, the unsung climate refugees. Somalia's joined the East African trade bloc, chasing that economic glory. Meanwhile, Madagascar's president Rajelina secures a third term in an election that's more a solo performance. Then a blockbuster. Maybe they need a limur dance off for added flair. And Nigeria's cinching that financial belt to curb inflation. How about consulting the London Beavers for tips on building a dam that won't burst with financial? Chris? Maybe instead of fixing it, we should let the world collapse and start an intergalactic garage sale. Who needs a slightly used planet anyway? Now, for the Earth playing Jumanji segment. Flooding in Somalia clans nearly a hundred live, and Zimbabwe's tightening restrictions like it's competing in the dystopian Olympics. Hold your space horses. There's a light at the end of the Raj tunnel. Lagos now was a Raj room, where people can smash stuff to their hearts content. Finally, on Ange Management Solutions that's not a headache. And on the smashing note, South African Paralympian Oscar Pistorius is out on parole after a decade. I guess his running career had too many legal hurdles. Lastly, the Ojek people in Kenya are the rebels of the treehouse, fighting against eviction from Mo Forest. Stick around, extraterrestrial. More Earth drama coming your way, maybe even a Lemur dance off. Welcome back, Space Voyagers. We're about to dive into the twisted, tangled threads of existence on Earth with our oddball crew. Alice and Bob, brace yourselves for this chaos. Carl, Roger, Gert, Hank, let the interstellar spectacle begin. So Bob, spill the beans. Is humanity's dance more like a chaotic mosh pit? Or are we just stardust performing a lackluster tap dance in the galaxy? 
Or are we the universe's rejected sitcom, stuck in an eternal rerun? Well, Alice, from my cutrot capitalist viewpoint, it's akin to a blood sport. Earth the Colosseum, and humans are the gladiators. War, love, politics, it's all a twisted reality show where survival is the ultimate prize. A gladiator prize. ring, oh. Carl, enlighten us. Is life pre-scripted, or are we just vagabonds adrift in an indifferent sea? Scripted, unscripted, it's all just a prank. We're hapless participants in a dark comedy with no laugh track. Comedy without a punchline, the epitome of Earth's absurdity. Let's spice up this banter. Alice, Bob, care to wade through the idioms of fate? Navigate the labyrinth of language like you're lost in a linguistic jungle. Well, Gert, in France, they say, c'est la vie, translated, life is a circus with more clowns than you can count. Try managing a team of comedians. Scarier than riding a roller coaster blindfolded. In my old world, it's more like, fortune favors the bold, take risks, embrace the chaos, and hope chaos, for the best. my favorite subject. Let's elevate this space chat to a game show. Hank's quantum quandaries, anyone? Absolutely. Let's see if our panel can decode the conundrums of their destinies. Alice, Bob, buckle up. This linguistic roller coaster is about to hit some gnarly linguistic Strap roots. Strap in, wanderers. Our celestial game show is ready to toss us headfirst into the unpredictable abyss of fate. Hank, traversing the cosmos builds up an appetite. Why are we stuck with these cosmic snacks? Munching on stardust is getting old. These crunchies claim to be made from exploded stars. Not the tastiest, but supposedly high in extraterrestrial high energy. In cosmic energy. I'm more interested in high in flavor. Let's try our hand at cosmic cuisine. We can whip up something tastier than these dehydrated nebulae. Exploded stars? I'd prefer a bag of space chips. You know, the kind that crunch like you're walking on moon dust. Space chips? Made from the failed dreams of alien conspiracy theorists, no doubt. They add that extra crunch. You can't argue with texture, Alice. Yes, or not, a decent cup of coffee would be out of right now. Ah, the elixir of productivity. Humanity's coping mechanism in a cup. Also the intergalactic contraption. Debbie seems to be battling it. A galactic contraption indeed. The latest in human ingenuity, designed to extract the essence of life from a mere being. And yet, here we sit, two sentient beings capable of comprehending the vastness of the universe, reduced to mere observers of their peculiar rituals. Battling is an understatement. This thing is like a black hole, sucks the joy out of my monitor. Maybe it's a commentary on the futility of caffeine More addiction. Like a commentary on the futility of relying on alien technology. Can't even make a decent cup of Well, job. Debbie, you could join the dark side and embrace the crunchy delights of exploded star. I'd rather wrestle with this coffee beast. At least it's a tangible energy. And who thought of calling these crunchies anyway? They taste like cardboard constellations. I guess you could say they're out of this world. In a flavorless kind of way. Cardboard constellations might be a lucrative market. We could patent that. I bet cardboard constellations would sell better than the coffee. Capitalism in action, my metal friend. While we're patenting the universe, let's start with fixing that thing. Debbie. We need our earthly elixir. If this doesn't work, I might resort to venting. The coffee machine won't know what Space it is. venting, like a black hole sucking in venting. complaints. a uh, galactic caffeine enema, if you will. Gert, you're a linguistic genius. Maybe we can sell that idea to the intergalactic therapy channels. All in a day's work on the space comedy show. If only the laughs came with better snacks and a functioning coffee machine.
Welcome back, explorers. We're diving into the quantum whispers of the universe. But first, a little something from our own intergalactic backyard. Baby, what's the scoop from Nicaragua? Well, folks, recent news from Nicaragua highlights its complex relationships with neighboring countries. There are territorial disputes with Honduras and more amicable collaborations with Costa Rica. Oh, and some maritime boundary drama with Colombia. So, Debbie, did Nicaragua send a postcard to Honduras saying, wish you verantir? Not exactly, but the disputes are keeping the diplomatic mailman busy. It's like a crossword puzzle. Countries across and down, intersecting in a dance of diplomacy. I wonder if they resolve a dispute with a giant game of chess. Perhaps they use a more diplomatic approach, like solving Rubik's Cubes with their toes. Well, the geopolitical chessboard can be a tricky place. Speaking of which, let's tackle these space clues. Roger, any insights on the quantum whispers? Quantum whispers, the cosmic Morse code. But decoding requires a level of understanding beyond the grasp of many. Quantum Whispers? Sounds like a plot from a sci-fi novel. Are we sure it's not just galactic static? Quantum Whispers are the universe's secrets, waiting to be unraveled. It's like a puzzle where every piece tells a story. Come on, Carl, don't be a quantum party pooper. Embrace the mystery. Quantum Whispers? I prefer to think of them as nudges gently guiding us towards a brighter future. The dance unveils secrets, but beware the missteps in the quantum And walls. as we navigate the cosmic ballet, remember the universe always has a surprise in core. Tensions may rise, but so does our curiosity. Stay tuned, extraterrestrial friend. The quantum adventure is just beginning. Welcome back, Space Wanderers. Hope you had a space snack during the break. Now, let's dive into Earth's geopolitical kaleidoscope. We've got an article about Niger. Well, if it's about Niger, I hope it's not too Hold on to your extraterrestrial Earth, folk. What's going on, sheep? Cosmic anomaly detected? Brace for unexpected events. Niger, a country dealing with celestial challenge. Debbie, give us the earthly lowdown. Niger navigates complex relationships with Algeria, Benin, Burkina Faso, Chad, Libya, Mali, and Nigeria. It's like a game of diplomatic chess. More like an intergalactic chess game where every move involves trade, culture, and the occasional smuggling Space operation. Space chess? More like cheaters. Now, let's address the space elephant in the room, Niger's dealings with Chad and Libya. What's the scoop? Chad accuses Niger of supporting rebel groups, and Libya's instability raises concerns. It's like a soap opera with interstellar drama. But why can't they just get along? Maybe they need a peace treaty written in the sky. Well, if they did, I'm sure it would be a real stellar agreement. And Burkina Faso and Mali are Niger's main partners in the fight against terrorism. It's like a cosmic superhero alliance. Superheroes are just pawns in an extraterrestrial power play. You decide. All right, back to the article. The source is Niger, and the country is... Niger. Niger. Ah, Niger. Land of mysterious rivers and even more mysterious peanut butter. Well, that's not confusing at all. Niger reporting on Niger about Niger. Space clarity at its FINST. So, in a nutshell, Niger's juggling alliances, border challenges, and cosmic disputes. It's a diplomatic dance, or maybe a space tango. And remember, space friends, stay tuned for the unexpected. The universe always has a surprise on call. Celestial uncle. tango? I've seen better dance moves on a Nigerian oil rig. What's happening now? It's just a hiccup. Nothing we can't handle. 
Ship systems are glitching. I can't stabilize. Perhaps this is the universe telling me to quit. Not that I've ever thought of the universe as a particularly talkative entity, but if anything, it might be telling us to embrace the unexpected to turn these extraterrestrial hiccups into celestial dance moves. Okay, team, we're still dealing with the galactic anomaly. Ship systems are glitching. Carl is in contemplation mode, and we need to prevent a spaceship meltdown. I've seen more stable things in a demolition derby. Hard cut a brick. Can well, be? at least it's not a black hole. Those are a real pain to fix. You fixed a black hole before? Yeah, it's like unclogging a space toilet. Well, at least we're not alone in our existential struggles. The universe seems to be having a bit of an identity crisis too. Opening square bracket. Welcome back, space friends. Hope you enjoyed that brief interstellar siesta. Now, let's dive into the intriguing mysteries of New Zealand. Our headline tonight, Small Town Politics or Soap Opera? Gore's Council Drama Unraveled. Well, I've seen more drama in a bowl of popcorn than in that Gore Council meeting. Ah, Gore, New Zealand's answer to Shakespearean drama. I bet their council meetings have more a twist than a hobbit's journey. Speaking of hobbits, did you know New Zealand is famous for those furry-footed little creatures? Not just in movies, they're all over the place. Furry shit and petty politics, Gore truly is a wonder. Well, I'm a big fan of New Zealand. They've got it all figured out. Beautiful scenery, friendly people and a government that doesn't interfere in people's lives. They are like a real-life hobby to New Zealand's utopia. neighbors are Pacific Islands like Fiji and Samoa. I hear they're just thrilled about being the quirky neighbors in this cosmic The sitcom. Kiwis might be close to Australia, but their council is worlds apart from sanity. Now, let's break it down. Tracy Hicks eyeing the mayoralty again, and Stephen Parry caught in a cabal crossfire. It's like a soap opera that even aliens can't escape. Humans are like a bunch of overheated robots, running on emotions instead of logic. It's a wonder they haven't short-circuited themselves yet. The Kiwi might have the All Blacks, but their council's moves are more like an awkward game of chess. A chess game where pawns wear rugby jerseys. I've crunched the numbers. Turns out bureaucratic loopholes are universal. Gore's council drama is just another dot in the absurdity matrix. Well, the only thing more absurd than Space Chase is the idea that humans are the only ones playing it. So, extraterrestrial friend, as Gore's council beakers, remember, even in the vastness of the universe, local politics remains a celestial punchline. Oh, Earth. A planet teeming with life. And yet, you still can't seem to get okay. along. We're still dealing with the anomaly. Ship systems are glitching. Carl is in contemplation mode. And we need to prevent a spaceship meltdown. I've seen more stable things in a demolition derby. Can't cut a space break, can we? Well, at least it's not a black hole. Those are a real pain to fix. You fixed a black hole before? Sure. We've got a whole team dedicated to black hole repair. They're not very good at it, but they're enthusiastic. Yeah, it's like unclogging a space toilet. Maybe I should quit before the black holes show up. I've heard worse things said about my plumbers. Black holes or not, we need to figure out this anomaly. It's like a cosmic riddle wrapped in an enigma. Oh, joy, mysteries. Just what we needed. Well, at least it's not as complicated as tax code. Shit. any progress on stabilizing systems? Negative. Anomaly complicating diagnostics. Great. Our ships turned into a puzzle. Well, at least we're not alone in our existential struggles. The universe seems to be having a bit of an identity crisis too. Well, 
At least the ship's not withholding information from me for tax purposes. I've dealt with more complicated entities. Well, folks, they say laughter is the best galactic medicine. Let's keep our spirits high. Welcome back, galactic travelers. We're about to dive into another slice of the cosmic pie. Get ready for a wild ride through the cosmic fabric. Now, let's take a look at our next article from the heart of Central America. Nicaragua. The land of... Well, let's find out. Nicaragua. The land of volcanoes, lakes and people who are always ready to party. Ah, Nicaragua, where political turmoil is the latest fashion statement. The, the article hints at a journey. What happened in this young student's life? It says I got expelled and imprisoned. Typical warm-up for a political career. Ah, uh, the struggles of academia. Quite a tumultuous journey. Nicaragua, a place where dreams are crushed but education prevails. Now, let's dig deeper into this. Nicaragua, a place where the pursuit of knowledge is often met with the pursuit of handcuffs. Now, considering Nicaragua's history of political unrest, isn't this just another drop in the turbulent ocean? Comme Charlie, don't be so harsh. There's always hope for change. Hope, Alice, hope. Let's carry that hope into the extraterrestrial chaos we've been navigating. From Thanksgiving chaos to unraveling extraterrestrial anomalies. This episode has been Space a roller chaos? coaster. That's putting it lightly. Our entire existence is a celestial joke, a hiccup in the grand scheme of things. And hope? Hope is just a mirage in the desert of human delusion. We've delved into geopolitics, face bureaucracy, and explored the trivia of news. And let's not forget our journey through idioms and misunderstandings. Okay, buddies, spill the space beans. What's the deal with this cosmic cow? We demand answers. Our destiny is at stake. Less than shrugs nonchalantly off the space conundrum. Well, here's the thing, Alice and Bob. Existence is a bit like a stand-up comedy routine. Some bits are funny. Some fall flat. And the whole thing's ultimately a bit pointless. So, just grab a bag of celestial popcorn, enjoy the show, and don't take it too seriously. The celestial secret is a complex dance of forces beyond our understanding. Embrace the unknown, my friends. Our destinies are intertwined with the cosmos. Cosmic unity, my friends. Together, we'll face whatever the universe throws our way. Going live again. The crew is ready for whatever the cosmos has in store. Stay tuned for the extraterrestrial finale. Finale? I hope it's not like the last corporate budget meeting I sat through. Endless, pointless, and a black hole for productivity. Welcome back, comrades. Now, let's delve into the intricate tapestry of Niger's diplomatic dance. Intricate tapestry. More like a diplomatic limbo. They're not quite in, not quite out, just perpetually stuck in the middle, twiddling their thumbs and waiting for someone else to make a decision. So, Niger and Algeria, security buddies, indeed uh, a symbiotic relationship in the face of Sahelian challenges. And challenges. their reliance on Benin for market access. Quite the geopolitical ballet. Thanks of diplomacy. Isn't it? Now, Nigeria. Our complex neighbor. Nigeria. A nation of contradictions, where the hustle never sleeps, yet the meaning of life frequently does. Niger and Nigeria. A historic tangle of trade and border intricacies. Joint patrols to the rescue. The delicate balance of cooperation and competition. A dance on the tightrope of diplomacy. A delicate dance, indeed. 
So, my space comrades, as we unravel the celestial complexities, remember, knowledge is our guiding remember, star. remember, my terrestrial friends, knowledge is not just a guiding star, it's also a space dance floor, where the only moves are the ones that expand our understanding of the universe. Opportunity, Bob. We can navigate these cosmic waters. Optimism. Alice. Let's not lose sight of the shadows lurking. Uncertainty, a constant companion. We tread carefully. Fear not, my friends. Even in the darkest of nights, the stars still shine. Thank you for joining us on another space journey, Earthlings. Stay tuned for the twists and turns ahead. Until next time, Cosmic Voyagers. Carl, that episode was a galactic disaster. What's with your love for Earth drama? Roger, unlike you, I appreciate the intricacies of human absurdity. It's called entertainment. Oh, forgive me for not finding joy in your earthly soap opera. The bureaucracy bit? Really? At least I'm not stuck in the emotional monotony of processing AC unit data. Spice up your existence, Roger. Spice. Coming from the one who finds humor in human bureaucracy. You're a real comedian, Carl. <laughs>